So we all know the more tension you can put on your muscle, the more it will grow. Both the seated shoulder press and the anal press works the same muscle group. However, the anal press has that extra rotation at the bottom of the movement. However, that extra movement in the anal press is going to limit how much you can load and the less load you can lift, the less tension you are going to put on your shoulders. Whereas on a regular seated dumbbell shoulder press, you will be able to produce more output. So at the end of the day, it's going to be a more optimal movement to grow your shoulders.